Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to send telegram messages from Google Sheets. So I am the head of my creative team of my organization and I've already created a Google Sheet for all the tasks which I want to assign to my team members on regular basis. Now my objective is that whenever I'm going to add a new row along with a new task detail in my spreadsheet, automatically a message should be sent to my team members on my telegram group regarding the same task. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Google Sheets and Telegram and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect works on two principles, trigger and action. So in trigger, we are going to take Google Sheets and in action, we are going to take Telegram. And we will connect both of them in order to automate this entire process of sending Telegram messages from Google Sheets automatically. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to send Telegram messages from Google Sheets. So I have prepared a spreadsheet for the creative team of my organization, which contains the following fields such as task name, description of the task, assignee, and the due date of the task. Now, I want to assign different tasks on regular basis to all my team members of creative team. So therefore, I have created a channel on my Telegram group for that. Okay, now my objective is that as soon as I'm going to add a new row along with a new task detail in this particular spreadsheet, automatically that should be converted into a message and it should be sent to the Telegram group or the channel automatically. Okay, so how are we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Telegram and Google Sheets. And you know, I'm going to do that without any coding or programming skills, just by using Pabli Connect. So we are going to learn over here that how can we simply set up a connection between our Google Sheets and Telegram without any coding or programming skills to send automated messages on Telegram group or channel from Google Sheets. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping this URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. Browser. After coming over here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, because I'm already an existing user, therefore I'm clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create different folders over here to save our workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option which is given on right corner. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Send telegram messages from Google Sheets automatically. After giving the name here, I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So I've already created a folder with the name as Google Sheets and Telegram Automations. I'm going to select that and now let's click on Create. As we have done that, we can see that here two windows are open in front of us. So these are trigger and actions. As I already told you that Pabli Connect works on these two principles. So basically trigger and actions are the main concepts or the building blocks on which the entire automation runs. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Now, because our objective is to send telegram messages from Google Sheets. So here we are going to let's suppose take Google Sheets in our trigger and telegram in our action and what we want that whenever a new row will be added in our Google Sheets automatically the details of that row should be converted into a message and it should be sent to telegram channel or group automatically. So we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the row is added in Google Sheets then only the message is sent on telegram otherwise not. So after understanding this concept let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, because I want that whenever I'm going to add a new row over here in my Google Sheets, the response should be captured. And with that response only, the workflow should get triggered. So our trigger application over here will be Google Sheets. So let's select that. Now we have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So new or updated spreadsheet row will be our trigger event over here because whenever a row will be added, the response will be captured over here. And with that response, the workflow is going to automatically trigger. 
Now, as we have done that, a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions. So we need to follow these instructions step by step and we have to read them very carefully to connect our Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So first of all, let us copy this webhook URL because it is going to act as a bridge for sending the data from Google Sheets towards Pabli Connect. And now I'm going to take you towards my Google Sheets. Okay, so as I've already told you that this is the spreadsheet which I have prepared for the creative team of my organization for assigning them different tasks. Now, to connect it with Pabli Connect, we have to go towards extensions and here we can find Find the option of add-ons when you'll click on this get add-ons it will take us towards google workspace marketplace now here we have to search for pabli connect webhook so let's select that okay so basically pabli connect webhook is the add-on which we need to install in google sheets to connect it with pabli connect so i've already installed it as you can find so i'm just going to cross this and once you will install the add-on for the first time you also have to refresh your spreadsheet one so that you will be able to find the option of pabli connect webhooks under extensions as i can find the options over here let's go towards initial setup we have to perform an initial setup in order to connect our Google Sheets with Pabli Connect in which we have to enter two details. First of all, we have to provide the webhook URL. So let's paste that over here in this field. And the next thing is the trigger column. So the concept of trigger column says that whenever we are going to add a new row in our spreadsheet up till this particular column, automatically the entire row will be sent as a response on Pabli Connect. So it is also given over here that the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row will be sent to the webhook URL. Okay, so you can find in my spreadsheet in the background I have four columns A, B, C and D. So D contains the due date of the task and it is my trigger column. Why? Because I want that whenever I am going to add a new row along with all the new task details in my spreadsheet up till the due date up till D column then only the response of that entire row should be sent towards Pabli Connect. Okay, so I'm going to enter D over here and now we are going to click on send test to send the test response which is given over here towards Pabli Connect. And as the test data is sent successfully, let's submit it. Okay, so we have submitted the initial setup and our setup is configured successfully. So I'm going to just cross this. We will move back towards Pabli Connect and we can find that yes, here we have received the response. In the response, we have received all the details you can find. This is the trigger column that we have entered D. Task name, social media calendar, spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index. Row index is the number of row in which the data is added. So you can find that we have only one row over here and the data is added in row number two. So we have received the row index as two. Okay, due date, description of the task and the assignee to whom we want to assign this particular task. This means that our connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is perfectly successful. So now we have to do one more thing. I'm going to take you back towards Google Sheets and because my objective over here is this, that whenever after the connection, I'm going to add a new row in my spreadsheet up till the trigger column, automatically the data should be keep on sending without any manual efforts to Pabli Connect. So we will have to go towards extensions once again, Pabli Connect webhooks. And this time we have to click on this send on event button. As we have done that, we have made sure that now whenever we are going to add a new row over here, automatically the data will be keep on sending towards Pabli Connect. So let's move forward now. Now, we want to send the message for this task to the Telegram group. Okay, so now what we are supposed to do, we have to connect Telegram with Pabli Connect. So let's select our action application as Telegram. And we will select the Telegram bot. Now we have to select the action event. So our action event over here will be send a text message or reply because we want to send a message. Let's click on connect. Now from the given options, I'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with my Telegram bot account. But if you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. As we have selected add new connection, we also have to provide a token. So from where we are going to find that token for that, first of all, we have to read the instructions given over here very carefully. So I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do over here. I'm going to first of all, take you towards my Telegram account so this is telegram web i've already opened it in my desktop now after coming over here first of all we have to search for bot father with the help of this basically we are going to set up a connection between telegram and pabli connect now after coming on bot father we have to send a message over here that will be first of all we have to enter a dash and then we have to select new bot Okay, so this is the message. All right, a new bot. How are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. So it is asking us to select a name for our bot. Because I'm creating this bot for my creative team of my organization, therefore I'm going to give the name of this bot as, let's say, creative team. Now it is asking us, good, now let's choose a username for your bot. So this was just the name. Now we have to provide a username for our bot, which should end with underscore bot. Okay, it is given in the instructions. So I'm going to give the name, let's suppose as creative team underscore bot. It is saying that this username is already taken. Please try something different. So we have to suggest a new and unique username over here. So let's say I'm going to give the name of my company as well. So the name of my company is sparkle events creative team underscore bot. Now let's try this. 
Yes, it is saying that done. Congratulations on your new bot. So this name is selected and our bot is created. So this is the API token which we have to use in order to connect this bot with Pabli Connect. So first of all, let us copy this. And now I'm going to go back towards Pabli Connect and paste it over here. Done. Let's click on save. And with this, we can see that Telegram bot is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So let's move forward. Here, after building the connection, we have to provide the chat ID, text message and all other details. So first of all, let's start with chat ID. Now, what is this chat ID? Chat ID is the ID of the chat or the group in which you want to send the Telegram message. So I'm going to first of all, create a group in front of you. So I'm going to create a new group over here. And in order to create a group, first of all, we have to add the members. So we will have to add the bot which we have recently created to our group. Okay, so I'm going to add my bot. The name of my bot is creative team. So I've selected that and now we are going to click on next. So now we have to select the name of our group. So I'm going to give the name as creative team. This will be the name of my group. And now we have already added the bot. Let's click on next and we can find that yes, our group is created over here. So here, first of all, I'm going to go towards the name of the group. And you can find that these are the details of our group. The name is creative team. Okay, this is the owner of the group that is me and this is the member that is the creative team bot. Okay, so here basically we are setting up a bot to send automated messages on our telegram group or channel. Okay, so first of all, we have to provide the chat ID now. So we will go back towards telegram here. This is our group and when we will look towards the URL of our group, this will be the chat ID. So we will simply copy this and we will paste it over here. Done. So this is our chat ID. Now we have to enter the message which we want to send in the chat. So to send the message automatically with the help of bot, we will first have to provide the admin access to this bot. And that can be done with the help of mobile application of Telegram. So I'm going to first of all give the admin access to my bot with the help of Telegram mobile. And yes, you can see that I have already provided the admin access to my bot. Now I'm going to go back towards Pabli Connect and here I'm going to enter the message which we want to send. So the message will be for the task which I'm going to assign to my team members and we have already received the details of that task from our Google Sheets. But to start with the content of the message, I'm going to enter. Hello team. Here is a new task for now I'm going to give the name of the person to whom I want to assign this task. So we will simply use the data which we have already received from our earlier response for that. And we will simply map the name of the assignee over here. So mapping is inserting data from previous step. Here our previous step is given and we can find that here are all the details of the previous step. Okay, so these are all the details which we have received in our Google Sheets response. We want to map the name of the assignee. Let's select that and it is mapped. So when we have mapped this name, it has become dynamic. That means with each and every new response, it is going to be replaced. So whenever a new response will be captured from Google Sheets, automatically this name in this field is going to be replaced with a new name of that new person. That means a new assignee. Okay. And in this way, we are going to automate the entire process of sending automated messages on Telegram channel or group whenever a new response will be captured from Google Sheets. Okay. But if we will enter the data manually over here, then it will become static and then it is not going to replace. So as we have entered this message content manually, so it will be same each time but only the details of the task and the assignee will be replaced because we are going to map those details now the next thing i'm going to enter over here is task now one by one i'm going to map all these details as well so first of all i'm going to map the name of the task which i want to assign then the description for that task okay and the due date okay so these are all the details of the task now i'm going to enter one last line so I have entered, please make sure to complete it on time. Regards, creative head. So this will be the message which I'm going to send each time whenever a new data will be added in Google Sheets. After entering this message, I'm going to simply click on save and send test request button. And as we have done that, we can see that a response is captured over here. And in the response, we have also received a message ID. This means the message is sent on our Telegram group. So let's go and check. And yes, we can find that automatically the message is received over here. Hello team, here is a new task for smart user. Here are the details, task name, description, okay, due date. And it is also given that please make sure to complete it on time. Regards, creative head. This means that our connection between Google Sheets and Telegram is perfectly successful. Now, because we have already clicked on send on event button. So now when I'm going to add a new row over here, up till trigger column in my Google Sheets, automatically a new message will also be sent on Telegram group once again. So let's check this workflow once again. I'm going to add a new task over here. Let's say this time the new task will be generate captions. Here I'm going to give the description of the task, let's say as generate unique and creative captions for festival post. Here I'm going to give the assignee as test user. I'm going to and here I'm going to give the due date as well. 
so we have entered a new task over here up till our trigger column so let's go and check whether we have received a new message on our group or not and yes we can see that instantly and automatically we have received the message over here hello team here is a new task for test user here are the details you can see that all the details are automatically changed over here in this same message okay this means that our connection is successful so let's summarize what we have done here in the workflow we have taken very simple steps trigger an action in trigger we have taken google sheets and in action we have taken telegram bot and we have connected both of them with the help of public connect in such a way that now whenever a new row will be added in our google sheets automatically a message will be sent on our telegram group in the same manner you can very easily create this automation for your use case as well for whatever user you want to send messages on your telegram channel from google sheets you can create the same automation for that as well this was just an example of tasks okay so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations